Hey everybody, welcome back. So um, today's Monday, uh, March 6th, and I've kind of been a little bit under the weather today. Well, yesterday, pretty much. Pretty much over the last couple weeks. Um, my kids had the flu a couple weeks ago. My son tested positive for type A flu, and in September they were positive for type C flu. So then my little girl had it. And it's been about a couple weeks now. I never really got sick. I kind of felt a little bit bad, but I didn't ever get all of the total flu symptoms. But over the last couple weeks, it's um, just whenever it's evening time, like I'm up in the morning and I'm ready to go because um, I'm a morning person. But in the evenings, it just seems like I'm really tired or my body is aching or, you know, I'm not real sure what all is going on. But um, just yesterday, my son... Saturday night, he started with the coughing again, and he's an asthmatic, so we have to be real careful. Whenever he goes into those um, flares, uh, he can end up, you know, in a situation. So I try to keep a real watch on him. Sorry, I've got the stove on, so I'm trying to watch that as well. And um, so he's just been coughing and not really feeling well. And of course, they cough right on you and in your face, and then they roll over and cough on your pillow. It's not for the people. So, um, yesterday I wasn't feeling the best. And um, I decided to um, stay home with him, really, because he was not feeling well. And um, so I stayed home today, and I've been sleeping. I think I slept for a couple hours. I'm not sure. How long did I sleep? Three hours. My daughter says three hours. I can't remember it. I feel like I need to go sleep for another three hours, but I know that's not possible. So anyway, as I ramble on, um, I got on the scale yesterday morning and I was down to 215.6 pounds. I started off at 227 and so that is officially 12 pounds down and I was really excited. Woo -hoo -hoo. Um, but I've had a bad couple of weeks and when I say a bad couple of weeks, it's just I want to eat. I want to eat food and I want carrots are good, but I want to eat food. Now I did have my cycle. And so of course, whenever I have my cycle, I have to have a diet soda and a chocolate something. It doesn't matter what it is, but it has to be a diet soda and a chocolate something. And that just kind of spirals into, well, what else can you have? So I was very fortunate this week to be able to say that I did lose some weight and that I am at 12 pounds. But I know me and I've got to get a handle on it because if I don't, then I'm just going to spiral into eating more. So um, yesterday I didn't get a real, I didn't get a chance before I left for church to watch um, a girl I follow. Her name is Julie and her channel is Julie's WW Journey. And I will link it in the description below. And she lost, I mean, she doesn't tell you what her beginning weight is, or at least I haven't found that yet. But she's down to 185 pounds, and she looks amazing. But she really was a heavy person. And she was sharing some items that she had got at Costco. And so normally, I do my weekly grocery shop at Harris Teeter. I do not shop um, warehouse grocery stores. I don't have a membership or anything like that. So that deters the shopping as well. But a friend of mine has Costco, and I said, hey, do you mind letting me know next time you're over there because I'd like to pick up a few things. And so um, she said, well, sure, let me know what you want. And she went and pre-scoped it out for me. And because I was off today, she just messaged me. She said, hey, if you're free, come over um, and we can go to Costco. So I want to show you some of the things I was able to get and then show you some of the things I've already cooked ahead, not Costco items. And then what I'm doing today, because if what I feel like is if I already have my meals pre-made and pre-selected out, then I'll be less likely to want to snack and eat things because I can grab a, a, a bowl or grab something and take it with me. My kids are working on science projects. So if you hear stuff in the back, they are so excited. They figured out we have this science book and we've had it forever. You know, we do homeschool and they love it. And so... <laughs> They're finding all the little ingredients they need for their little science project. So that's what you hear in the background. So anyway, I'm going to turn my camera around and let you see what I was able to get at Costco. Okay, so here are my Costco items that I was able to pick up today. And these are the items that I specifically got from the video that Julie did yesterday with her Weight Watchers video and Costco haul. 
So let me start here with this. I actually saw this on Shelly Home Shelly's Home Life's channel as well. These are the Amy Lou's Organic Sugar House Maple um, Chicken Sausage. These are one smart point for each link. And the links are pretty, they're about my hand um, wide is a link. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, prepare some of these in my fry pan and throw them in a, in a um, bowl. And the reason I'm going to do that is because yesterday um, the kids and I were cooking ahead of a few things. And I went ahead and made up egg muffins. And I did those in the muffin pan and then I had some um, English muffins I added on a slice of cheese and for breakfast I just threw this in the oven this morning I threw three of them in this is six seven eight this is nine smart points because of the egg muffin it's not light it's four points it's three points for the slice of cheese so that was seven points and then the egg is two points because I use whole eggs this time. So that's nine points. Then with a sausage link this long, it would end up being 10 points. So that's pretty long. Now the um, egg muffins that are in the bowl don't have cheese on them and we ran out of cheese. So then I'm just back down to two points. I didn't put any cheese inside. I just did spinach. I did peppers and I did Canadian bacon. I did 13 pieces of Canadian bacon that I spread out with 24 eggs so if at any point I'm at half a point or one smart point for the bacon but I did those for all of the um, egg muffins so that is what I'm putting with these um, smart house maple organic chicken sausage and again I saw this on Julie's channel but I also saw this on Shelly's home life's channel so I'm gonna give that a try then Julie showed us these on Dewey chicken sausages and I think for one link, and it's it's a pretty big sausage. You know, again, one finger link. That's probably a bun link. It's four points, and that's because it has, it's either three or four points. I'll have to look at the points again and let you guys know if that's three or four points. Um, additionally, on Shelly Home Life's channel, and then I think it was one of my subscribers that mentioned to me that I would like the egg roll in a bowl. And last night I made egg roll in a bowl and I just used coleslaw. But I was in Costco and I picked up this Asian cashew chopped salad. Now I will take out the cashews and the noodles and I won't use any of that stuff. I'll just use the salad and maybe a little bit of the sesame ginger dressing. And I'm going to do egg roll in a bowl again. So I just brown this up. I didn't use... In Shelly, she uses ground turkey. I use no meat in mine. I just use this, a little bit of soy sauce, and then in the middle, I um, did a, a well and put an egg in, chopped up the egg, and I just distributed that around, and then that's how I made egg roll in a bowl. So I didn't use any meat in mine, and I won't probably use the cashews or any of those noodles, but I can scan this and see how much it would be. Just the way I cooked it last night, it probably was not even a full smart point because I only use one egg for a whole bag of coleslaw. So I just picked that up because I do like the Asian salad. The next thing she showed, um, and I think Shelly showed this as well, are these Kirkland's turkey burgers. These are 12, these are a third of a pound turkey burgers, and they're pretty thick. I'm actually getting ready to put these in the oven and just bake these off a little bit. And these are two smart points for one burger. So. Um, they've been sitting out just to thaw a little bit so I'm gonna put a couple of these into the oven on the sheet pan um, the next thing that I'm gonna do is I have a pot going and in that pot is just some water so I got this Taylor Farms broccoli florets and I am going to just um, steam up a couple um, cups worth of the broccoli just enough to get me through the week and the puppy's being a little bit nuts. What's wrong, baby? What's the matter? Don't bite your sister. She doesn't appreciate it. Look, there's a the puppy. Say hi, mama. Say hi. Say hi, everybody. It's Gracie. There's no jumping. You have to sit. Good girl. No jumping. Say good morning. Oh, good afternoon. Say it's afternoon, mommy. You're confused. Hi, baby. 
I love you. I don't have any treats. I know what you're looking for. Um, she wants a treat. I don't have any treats. Okay, then um, Julie also showed this trident. It's the ultimate fish stick. This is a wild, a wild Alaskan polyp. It's crispy breaded fish sticks. And they are, I'm going to turn it around so you can kind of see. For three of these fish sticks, it's four smart points. So I'm go going to go ahead and microwave, I mean, um, do a couple of these in the oven while I'm doing the turkey burgers and the sausage. And um, three of these, which they're pretty um, wide, three should fill me up. And that is going to be four smart points for three of these. So I'm trying to do four days worth of meals for lunches, just lunches, because I'll cook dinners, of course. And then the last thing I was able to pick up was this Path of Life organic quinoa and kale this is with garlic olive oil and sea salt and so it has five pouches in here and i'm probably going to microwave two pouches and she says for half a pouch or 142 grams it is five smart points so i'm going to take half of the half and put in each bowl so probably one pouch will get me through the rest of the week and that'll probably be about two smart points because i'm going to take one pouch and divide it into four four um, bowls so the only the other thing we picked up were a few of uh, bananas and then I did also get a um, pineapple so what I've got going here simply is my foil pan where I'm gonna put my turkey burgers on here this pot is for my egg roll in a bowl and then this I mean this pan is for my egg roll in a bowl and then this pot right here is gonna be for my broccoli florets and then I'm going to take this glass dish and I'm actually going to put my sausages in there and let them cook off a little bit. And I'm not sure if you remember this, but when we had family share night, I actually did um, ranch rings. So I think I'm going to do ranch rings again for dinner. We're going to have rings and fish sticks. Oh, I forgot one thing. Um, Julie did not show this. She actually showed another Amy Lou's product. Called, it, was the, it was the chicken sausage links. But it was um, Gouda and Apple and Gouda. They did not have that one. But they did have these charbroiled chicken burgers. The kale and mozzarella burgers. And for one burger. Which these are very big. For one burger it's four smart points. So I'm going to try these as well. So I'm going to put some of the turkey burgers. And some of the chicken burgers in. And see how far I can get. So I'm going to start getting everything prepped. And then I'll come right back and let you see what I'm able to do.